I'm BJ Dorman, I'm chairman of CEO Space, and I'm here on CEO Space TV. We've gained some content partners providing content for our, our platform. We have raised all the capital we were looking for. This is my third time coming, and what I can say is that I run my business right from here. So the week that I've spent here at CEO Space has been the most profitable week I've had this year. Hugh Ballou is on our board of directors. He is a coach that assists fortune companies. He works with major universities on driving their tuition up and their organizational structures and efficiency. He works with uh, churches, mega churches, and he loves building those large mega church worship groups all over the country. He drives a lot of uh, membership into churches. He's an expert in that field. He's putting on one of the largest, uh, they've had the choir competitions like the American Idol Choir over in Europe for almost a hundred years. He's bringing it to the U.S. Uh, three cities, you're looking at you know, 25,000 people at a whack coming into these things, hundreds of thousands participating over the multi-days of it. And it's a big, it's just huge millions coming into the U.S. because he brought it on a city bid to those uh, cities. And actually that project was kind of a CO Space win with a whole team from CO Space put it together. He's been a world-class symphony leader uh, as a leader of the band, he is the leader of the band, he teaches in that field. I mean, music is, he's translated music uh, into organizational theory and made that uh, his living and helped people to have their perfect symphony. I love coming to CEO Space. I see the same kinds of mechanisms in place. After you come here, you unpack and you come to the lobby and you're looking around, people come to you. They say, what do you need, what are you doing? What do you need next and how can I help you? And there's, a, there's a, just a whole room full of people who are interested in helping you. It's not just language. They really have contacts and they have referral cards to give you. Those are live referrals to people who can increase your sales and who can help you move your business forward. Then the next really important thing that happens is we eat together three times a day. We have two hour meals where faculty members like me have a table and we're, we're there to help mentor people on really effective language. Talk about how you want to grow your business. And everybody around the table has a referral card. They are ready to give you referrals. They have the people that can be customers, can be investors, and those are people you're going to make appointments with at the table before you leave so to follow are, up those, that night. Those are appointment cards. Those are appointment cards that people put their name, their phone number, you know where they are. So Six hours a day you're getting appointments yeah. and you have a chance to follow up that night while the, the thoughts are fresh, while that interest is still peaked and people remember the conversation, you can follow up right there. And I have seen people create lifetime relationships where they, they've expanded their business and continue to expand their business because one person connected with another at that table. So everybody around the table is leaning in, they're listening to what you're having to say, and they're ready to give you that referral that's going to connect you with somebody that's going to make a difference in your business. Now, you're not home running your business, you're here working on your business building your business and the most important people for the future of your business are right here. I know my personal experience, I've met people at this forum who have changed my business each time that I come. So it's an important place to meet people who are going to set appointments with me, who are going to bring me value. My name is Judge Stevens, Jr. I've never seen such a feeling of cooperation. People want to help you to a degree you, you saw, are these people for real? But they were. Everyone that, that came in contact you with you wanted to help you in some kind of way. What can they do for you? And it was just a reversal of what I was used to. 
they do have the support. They do have the people. They do have the training. And it's at that CEO level that you really can understand your business, how it should go, and how it should run. And so what they've helped me to do and what I got in here this time, a better way to market my product, you be the judge barbecue sauce. They show me exactly the steps I need to take, the sequence order I need to have that in, and the people and the resources to talk to. You mentioned my, my conducting career, my, my skill is in choral conducting. Um, I'm in major cities I worked, I hired the major orchestra. I've worked with major orchestras as guest conductors. And if you think about going to a symphony concert and you're sitting there looking at the program, waiting for the program to begin, they're all warming up. So there's all, there's all this noise, we call it cacophony. That's like a typical trade show. Everybody's saying, come here, come here, come here. Well, I came into CEO space in 2006 as a skeptic, I was a member. I came attending and says, yeah, okay, prove it. And something, I met you in, in Nashville, and that was the tipping point for me. Uh, you reached out and said, you took my book, you said, I'm gonna read it, and here's a good place for you to share your skills. So I signed up and I came. I made the commitment to come. And I found this culture to be emphatically different from anything I had ever experienced. To talk about it as a trade show, to talk about it as networking, to talk about it as an educational event, those are all part of the picture. It's such a bigger picture, um, you really have to experience it. You have to be in the seat listening to the music um, to fully understand and fully be immersed in it. So it's really bigger than any one individual. And what I like about it, what I discovered is anywhere I go, this is, if I say CEO space, I'm instantly connected to a whole different network in any city that I travel to. So I've discovered it's, it's bigger than me, it's bigger than one person, it's, it's an emphatic space that's interested in my welfare. And I've, I've really not experienced that in any other culture. There's a difference in a bunch of musicians that play together and those that are really good and they form what we call an ensemble. They understand the resonance of making fine music together. The part of the culture of CEO space is an ensemble. We understand how to help people build their business, how to give referrals, and how to work with each other to grow a business. I've really never seen a conference quite set up like this for meeting potential investors and uh, raising capital and being trained on how to be compliant, actually even over compliant. Uh, we just closed a deal with another investor for $250,000 during the course of this conference. You know, I, I, I was kind of skeptical when I first you know, came here thinking, are we really going to meet investors at this place? But not only did we close one deal for $250,000, we were actually talking with several other investors that are thinking about funding the whole rest of our offering. I've been coming here five times a year for five years. I've never asked for anything. People offer things to me constantly. Here, this person you need to know. People call me up afterward, they send me emails. It's not just while I'm here, it's ongoing. And so I've never asked for anything. I'm very clear on what I'm doing and people say, look, I have somebody you need to meet. I have somebody that's the ideal client for you. If you go to a concert and you hear this symphony and they play a piece of music and it's okay. You go to another concert and you hear the same piece of music, another symphony, another conductor, a different culture. That's an ensemble. It's amazing. It's so the difference yeah. is the culture of the people and their conviction, their dedication to excellence. 
So when I come to CO Space, I'm with, uh, with colleagues that are the best in the business. And not only do we have the, uh, the guidelines we've agreed to, but we, we raise the bar on the guidelines that you set for the forum of accountability and integrity, but we set accountability levels peer to peer for each other. So I work with the very best people in their fields. They come here and it's, it's counterintuitive, like, like uh, cooperation instead of competition. It doesn't make sense, but once you understand it, it's a far more powerful alternative than competitive. And you get more done, you get more business, and it really takes experiencing it to understand the power of that ensemble. And you really don't know when that chord's in tune until you hear it. And you hear the overtones, it's in tune, and you go, wow. So you have to experience the, the, the in tune orchestra or the in tune ensemble that works together. Now, it's not only integrity, it's dedication to excellence and it's commitment to helping people. That's another counterintuitive. Why should I come here and help other people? Well, guess what? If I reach out and help a lot of other people, they have an interest in me as well. Nobody has to be here. We're here because we get something out of it. We come to share with people our specialized knowledge. And we have a, such a broad base of skills here that represented the best people in strategic planning, the best people in legal compliance, et cetera, et cetera. So I get to work with the very best people that I know in their fields. And so that encourages me to con constantly stay on top of my game. It's a culture of people I can trust. They're here to share. It changes the whole dynamic because we're giving to other people. And because we're giving to other people, it's the law of reciprocity that Nap Napoleon Hill discovered and he wrote about so eloquently, the law of reciprocity. Now, if you give to get, that's the different. People here genuinely wanna help you and they open up their Rolodex and they give you leads. And because of that, it's an energy of sharing and it, it really comes around. And so without even wanting stuff back, if I am just trying to give to people, it comes back to me many times, many times over what I've given. And it's a wonderful principle and it's one of those laws of nature if you understand and if you, if you work with it, like Napoleon Hill discovered, the laws of nature are there. And what you've discovered in this, this culture that you've created, it's a place where people give and it multiplies. I literally came to my first forum and went home and dissolved my business and started over. And after I came to that first forum and discovered that I was going the wrong way, I was able to go back home, change my direction, get all the tasks done that I needed to, drive back to the forum, come back and go the right direction and I raised $100,000 at my second forum because I was now going the right direction. And once I had that $100,000, so I had some gas in the tank, I was able to continue to go forward using, the, using CEO space as the engine of success to drive me to where I had profits that I actually started buying back out my investors. And I was offering them a return on investment and buying their stock back from them because my business was being so successful. So to me, CEO space has been not just a place to go to meet cool people and, and you know, you know, sit down with Les Brown and, and talk to, to, you know, Bob Proctor and, and Bob Sercosta and all these people. It's actually a place where I get things that actually do good in my business. It is actually like a tune-up for my business. Every time I come, I get the latest and greatest fuel in my tank. I get the latest and greatest map and GPS coordinates to go forward and go to where I want to go with my business. And I get, you know, there's detours. They just changed all the regulations with raising capital and stuff. We came here, we got training that nobody else has. We know where the slow spots are on the freeway to raising capital, and we know how to get around them and still do it legally so that we're fully in compliance. And with that kind of a driving force behind you, moving you towards success, and powering you through the obstacles that are put up, hey, government may be well-meaning, it may not be, but they put up obstacles to businesses and we just know how to drive around them because we've got the engine of success from CEO space powering us the direction coming down from the people who are actually lobbying to get the laws set up right for businesses coming and speaking at the forum. I mean, if you can't, if you can't figure out how to do your business here, you better get a day job. It took me one year 
to actually sign up and come here. Basically, I lost a year of my life, productive life, by not being here. When I came, it was, it was self-evident. And so, um, you, you see a lot of businesses that have, quote, celebrity endorsers who are highly paid to, to paint the image and they're given a script. You don't pay anybody. We could, we could interview lots of people who have wonderful stories that are true and they want to tell the stories because they believe in CO Space and it's their experience. They want to share it's with true. other people. Well, it's true. And, and we almost can't find the words to describe it because it's bigger than life. And so one person I heard talking to you said, you can't mail a haircut. You have to get the haircut. Well, you can't, you can't feel what it's like to feel the resonance of a barbershop choir or a great symphony orchestra unless you're sitting in the hall. So you can't feel the, the energy and the synergy of the ensemble of the great orchestra. It's orchestrating success coming to CEO space. It is your orchestra and you're playing your part in this big symphony of building your business.